Yeah, okay. Go. Uh, hi, it's Kay here, and um, this is our Warrus whiskers, and there are eight in the set, going from six inches all the way down to Titchy. I can't remember what it is, but they graduate down. Um, they make fantastic tab tops, so the perfect sh um, shape for those. But I'm going to make um, a quick pocket that you can go into an album using one of the dies. So I'm going to use the smallest, second smallest, so that to one side. And I've got some cardstock, and I've got a mat. I've got some cardstock, and I'm using the, uh, the cream as a mat. And then I'm going to cut a pocket into here and slot through. So I'm doing it with one cut of the die. So I've cut, cut it so I've got a mat all the way around, about an eighth of an inch. I'm going to work out where I want my pocket. So I think I want it about here. I haven't measured it, I'm doing it by eye, so I'm quite happy with that. And then I want to take everything into place so it doesn't move. So I don't want the, the paper to move the die to move, and the paper on that side to move. And then I'm going to run that all the way through on the machine. Okay, so that's run through the machine. So I take off the paper. Is that um, two lots of 270 GSM? Yes, just it is. Cut through? Yeah. Our dies will cut through heavy cardstock. And you'll see that it's cut both of them perfectly. So I'll just peel this off. This is Maggie's tape, not mine, so you can see the residue, I'll, I'll blame her. Just rub off. Okay, uh, that just peels that off. Okay. It's not torn the paper, so that's good. Okay, so it's cut through the top one perfectly, all right, as you can see. And it's cut through that one. And that is two quite heavy car stops. Okay. Yeah, 270 GSM each, aren't they? So, I'm going to cut the bottom one, which is my mat, lengthwise. And then for the top piece, I'm going to put the dart, cut to the same line, but up, going upwards. So the first one you went horizontal. Horizontal, the first one, next one's vertical, mm -hmm. going up. Okay, so I'll just cut that to that point there. And that. Just make sure that's cut. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's slotted in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you're gonna do is slot this into here, and it's a little bit fiddly, and it slots in like that, and you just move it in so it the cuts that you made vertically slot down, and this moves side to side because you've got the vertical cuts. So it's a little bit fiddly, so I'll just faff around for a bit until I get it right. But once it's in place, we'll just slot in nicely. That's it. I think that's got it. Tagged it. That's it. Okay. And then we can just move it across and get it into position when I'm happy with it. There we go. Like that. And the mats on the sides are right. So you can just position it like that. And then you'll glue it underneath there. Okay. I tend to leave enough space top and bottom so I can trim to fit. Okay, so when I've done that. So what you can do then, when you stick it to your, uh, when you're happy with this bit, you can stick it down. You can either stick it all the way over and add a magnet, or you can just stick it down the sides and you end up with two pockets. So one will go at the back, and then you have another one that will go just underneath like that. So you could have a double one. Because Maggie just suggested that, that seems like a, quite a good idea. So it's entirely up to you at that point. Okay, so when you stick it to your page on the back, you'll stick it at the top, and then you'll stick it down the sides, across the bottom, and up the sides, so that your pocket will go like that, or like that. So you slide in and out. So you do. So you have your pocket, and that's basically an easy peasy pocket with one cut on the die.